Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And today what we're going to do is we're going to learn how easy it is to hire another company such as Fiverr.com to make your cover image for Christmas. And here's an example of Keep It Simple Social Medias that I had done. And here's another example from Thornhill Real Estate. Just really nice Christmas feel. It's something I could not do on my own and it only cost five dollars for each one of those images. So how did I do it? I simply went to the website www.fiverr.com. When you get to the Fiverr website, go ahead and enter your email and you simply sign up for free and once you get to the Fiverr website, there are a number of things that you can do here. But in today's example, I'm simply showing you how I went about creating uh, cover images for my Facebook pages that I represent. So I can scroll down the page here and I can look for where it talks about cover images. And I can see over here, here's Christmas logos. I could simply click on this one and once I get over there it shows me some of the work that this artist does and I just scroll down the page and it shows me different examples and I might decide um, that I'm really not interested in this particular artist um, and I could go up here to the search bar see up here on the search bar and I could just type in Facebook cover images and then I could choose one of these and it would take me to a number of different artists for me to look at and to choose from. I just want to clarify something. You can get Fiverr.com to look for likes for your Facebook page. I do not recommend it. You want people liking your page that are genuinely going to be potential clients for you. Um, so let's scroll down and once again I can look at the different artists that are recommended for doing Facebook covers. I could click on one of the artists and it would take me over where I could look at uh, examples of the work that this artist does. Now I also can have several different cover images done for a little bit more money from the same artist and I can look at this artist's work and I can decide whether or not I want to use this person. And if I'm happy with the decision then I just simply scroll down the page a little bit more and I can tell uh, Fiverr what I would like. I'm just going to go with a basic gig and I order now. And from here I have to pay. I have to pay before I tell Fiverr what I want. And I just have my PayPal account set up. I go ahead and I continue. Once I hit continue, it'll process my payment. It will then send me an email. With this email, I go ahead and I connect back to the Fiverr.com website where I can tell the artist what I'm looking for. And in some cases, I direct them to my Facebook page or my website, or I can upload a picture that I want them to use in my cover image or in my case I just let them go to work and do what they do best as artists and create something for me and I actually was very pleased with the work that I had in this particular example here um, the peace love and joy was down at the bottom right here where this white is it was done in black but because when I loaded it to my Facebook page my name of the page covered most of the peace love and joy I simply asked the artist to remove it from the bottom and place it at the top so sometimes you can have your um, your pictures that they do for you uh, rendered and changed a little bit. I hope that this example really helps you experiment a little more with your Facebook cover image. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to come to my Facebook page, which is Keep It Simple Social Media, and ask me all your questions. This is Heather, and happy holidays.